so what's up guys welcome back to another video so yesterday when i tried to play valorant something weird happened my vanguard started crashing uh valorant uh, started saying that the internet connection is lost uh time to time um even though i had a pretty stable connection uh it sent me various kinds of uh, error codes like val9, val5, val-97 uh, so in this video we're going to fix that issue um, and I have to mention that this solution is very very easy and directly from Riot Valorant support itself so what are we waiting for? let's hop in Solving this issue, I tried uninstalling and reinstalling the Vanguard, uh, and I tried restarting my computer, um, and I even tried changing service settings in Windows. But none of that seems working. So what I did was I submitted a ticket to Valorant support, and they responded very quickly with a possible solution to the issue. So apparently the issue is caused by some ISP issues and this is what they said. We found that these issues are being caused by ISP issues. That's why a lot of players had disconnections from the game. But all the results are troubles from ISP on their route to our servers. So basically what you had to do to um, submit a ticket for Riot, what you had to do is just open your web browser, I have mine right here, uh, and what you had to do is just type Riot Login and go to this link right over here and it will redirect you to this website. You have to be signed in and I'm signed in right over here. So what you have to do is scroll down until we find Valorant. And after you click on that, uh, you will be redirected to this page of the same website. And what you have to do is go to the support tab and click on the support button. And then you have to scroll down until you see a button called submit a ticket. If you can't find what you're looking for, you have to submit a ticket. Let's click on that. Um, and then uh, you have to type whatever you have to do. Um, details. And we have to uh, choose a request type. And it is this one crashes, lags, and technical issues. There we go. Uh, this is the ticket I submitted previously, and you have to follow the steps, uh, it, it's pretty straightforward. So, enough talking, how can we fix this? So what you have to do is first go into the control panel, you will find it either over here in your desktop or in your search results when you type the control panel. There we go, we had to click on that, it opened in my other monitor, let me take it over here, there we go. and then we have to go into system uh, and security and uh, when you here you have to go to windows defender firewall Just click there and you'll see something like this and we have to click on allow an app or feature to windows defender firewall let's click on that and here, and this is the tricky part, what you have to do is click on change settings. Then click on allow other apps. 
so here what we have to do is we have to add individual applications such as Valorant EXE, the Riot uh, client service and the VGC which is the Vanguard. So I'll show you uh, how it's done. But we have to click, click on browse and here we have the VGC. You have to click on this and if you click on open it will be added but uh, I can't add it right now because it's already in my list so let's hit cancel and we have to do the same thing to the Valorant EXE and the client service so if the first method doesn't seem working what you have to do is just go into your search icon right over here and uh, type background apps and if it pop up right over here the best match let's click on that and what you have to do is turn this thing off don't let background apps run in the background okay uh, it'll work if if that first method doesn't work okay if that first method works you don't have to do this if it doesn't you have to toggle this thing to off so hopefully that solution solved your issue so if not there was another method in the email that riot sent me um, so what you have to do is just download this little piece of software I'll link this in the description um, and what you have to do is follow the instructions that it gives and attach the file that it generates so the files that it generates will be saved in a folder like this write logs and in the ticket that you have to submit uh, to write you, uh, the ticket um, form uh, would ask you for some attachments so what you have to do is attach these two files so if this video was helpful please drop a like and subscribe catch you in the next one